I like that. Um, yeah, that saying is like, oh, it's hard to soar when you're surrounded by turkeys, or whatever that saying is. Have you ever heard that before? What? It's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Right. I thought you were saying I, like soar. Yeah, I heard S A W. Yeah, I was like, what are you cutting? <laughs> no wonder these cutting turkeys you. are in the way. I'm cutting you guys. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm trying to cut a piece of wood here. You're going to get hurt. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> turkeys? <laughs> You have returned from schoolies. Yes. Yes, yes we have. That's, we why have. I, that's why I was doing it myself. Yeah, I'm week. sure people are thinking we returned from schoolies like maybe this morning because they're like, wow, they're babbering on already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they must be really they tired. They must be so tired. It was, it was a week was ago. A week ago. <laughs> <laughs> we got back on Friday last week. <laughs> yeah. Which will be two weeks from when this yeah. podcast comes out. Yeah, wow. True, true, true. Don't <laughs> Showing traveling. them the wizard behind the time curtain. Time, time traveling. <laughs> the wizard. <laughs> How was it? It was really good. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really fun. Are you allowed to reveal where you went now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done it all. It's all finished. So we went to, um, we went up to the. Have we talked we about schoolies before on the podcast? I think we, I think stuff has been mentioned. Yeah. And Do you about. just want to quickly fill them in what it is? Uh, yeah, it's an opportunity Craig to David. take our uh, year twelves away uh, to celebrate uh, the fact that. Um, they've finished school. It's also a way to invite them formally into the friendship group of Sora Wild. It's just a really lovely opportunity to be like, hey guys, we've been hanging out with you for the last six years and anywhere in between. Um, and we want to just be like, hey, let's let's have a holiday together. Let's hang out. Uh, it's also, it's those two things and it's also a alternative um, for those that uh, don't want to go on a uh, more... A secular school. Yeah, let's say that. Like, um, yeah, what schoolies has become in maybe our culture. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, culturally, schoolies is a bit different to uh, the way a Christian would uh, hang out um, and prioritize it and, in, and enjoy their their time. And so it's also a alternative to that as well. Mm. Um, but it's all of those things together. It's not one of them, which is really cool. I feel like it's changed also schoolies since even when I went to school it's like everyone like almost everyone either went on a cruise or went to Gold Coast yeah but now people go to oh, Fiji yeah. or to go down the south coast they go to Byron like I think there's a lot more locations anyway but yeah I think it's yeah, the same of, I think there's just yeah. a lot more money yeah like lot, like yeah. not not saying there wasn't before but it was just like there's just heaps of and people save from like year 11 yeah to go to Maldives. Fiji and stuff <laughs> yeah totally but they just like book it earlier I feel like and yeah. it's a lot more of a uh, business Mm. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah. Anyway, but let's let's review. We'll go back and look at our our previous experiences at schoolies later. Mm. Tell us about this this year's schoolies. Uh yeah. So this year uh, we had a number of crew who have actually been on the podcast. I'm pretty sure mm. all of the crew have been on except for Zach Young. Mm. So we yep. can put him on the hit list okay. for, <laughs> hit for list. later on, which is he would be a great one to have on as well. But yeah, um, everyone would have. We did Macy pretty recently. Beth was a little while ago, and I think Daniel and Hudson just had a s- second did. bite at the cherry. So, <laughs> well, yeah. apparently uh, that third, was third for Hudson. Yeah, Hudson, third. Hudson had three. Go- has had three guys. Wow, is he the most capped guest, other than maybe Manda? But Manda was guest hosting. That's true. Um, well, didn't Chris Stevens have three oh, parts, yeah, or did he have two? Chris. He had three because he brought he had two yeah. parts for him and then he brought Chris Kath. First Kath. Yeah, yeah, Chris first Kath. Yeah, Chris first Kath. So yeah, wow. Chris, Chris and Hudson. Hudson, Lewis has done two, but he's also yeah. done a shock absorber. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Mm-hmm. Comment below. Yeah, comment who, below. Who have you who, seen the most? Who would you like to see more of? Who would you like to see less of? It's probably um. going to be one of us. Um, <laughs> I love how you both looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't need to. It was implied. <laughs> <laughs> I knew as soon as you said it, you were implying me. Yeah. Uh, so this year's school is. Yeah. yeah so we were taking uh, the crew that just finished year 12 away, mm-hmm. um, which was awesome. Um, we had, yeah, uh, six crew. Was it six or five? I'm five. Count. Five. Five crew plus Eli. Yep. It counts as a crew. Pretty much. I will. Is that noisy? Yeah. Okay. But it's below the microphone, so we'll see if they can. can you hear this? Yeah, comment yes. below. Comment later. <laughs> I'm I'm really, really encouraging the interaction with this podcast. <laughs> Just comment below. Say whatever you want. Um 
Yeah. Uh, like, have yeah. a conversation. Don't talk about the podcast. Just no, like just, chat. Just, in just the get comments. to know each other. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Make friends. Um, yeah, so we had an awesome time. We went away to Gorakin. Oh, um, what's that? Near the entrance. Yeah, so we went up to Central Coast, which was really fun. We went on a bit of an adventure on the way there. Mm. So we oh. stopped via... Um, our first stop was Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So it's actually been a really fun tradition that's kind of come up over the last couple of years is that if we start schoolies on a Sunday that we all meet up and have breakfast at Sunday morning and hang out with those crew, which is actually really, really lovely it's that really it's nice. kind of become a bit of a thing, which means that like people rocking out, oh, you're going on schoolies. I remember last year, mm. like we did a more Lord of the Rings themed one last year. So <laughs> oh, there was capes last year. What are you guys doing? And there was... And then you have an epic breakfast. So it was yeah. really good. We'd chat, chatting with Hayden, chatting with, we sat down and Vanessa Sab came and had breakfast with us as well. And nice. it's just so like, it's actually a really nice um, culture way to start the week, um, which was lovely. So we started um, with a bit of Sunday morning breakfast and then uh, we had a quick stop off at Heathcote Caravan Park, which was fun. Um, just as that has been... Was that throw people off? That's, that that's just been... We've been telling Daniel in particular that that's where we're going. <laughs> yeah. For about <laughs> th four years. Like I like every time for the last four years that we've talked to Daniel about schoolies ever, we've either said some country overseas or like... That some it's war zone. Yeah, some war zone. Or we've said Heathcote Pack Caravan Park. Uh, and so... It was a very brief stop. It was a very brief stop. We did a couple of we laps did, of the <laughs> roundabout. There was a big roundabout in there. We did a few laps of that. Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was fun. And then, so this was, um, we did a few things I should have prefaced with. We, should, we did a few things just to throw off the scent mm. because we had some time in the morning. Because it was a complete we secret where you were going. Yeah, yeah. People. Oh, yeah. If we didn't mention that, most years mm. um, the crew have no idea where we're going. <laughs> some of the leaders don't know where we're going, mm. but that's... Well, that's a different story. That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we were just doing a few things in the morning to throw the throw off the scent, which was fun. So we went to Heathcote Caravan Park and then we went to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> for Krispy Kremes, for not, not for actually any airporty things. But yeah, so we went to the airport and got some Krispy Kremes. Yep. And then we went to Newcastle, which mm. was really fun. Um, so we went up to Newcastle, played putt-putt. At the dingiest putt-putt place ever. Like it was, <laughs> it was... So rough. It was awesome. There was just this really cool little outdoor, like the, there was an adult section and a kid section. And the adult section was a whole lot of just like straight lines with slight deviations in Where them. Where you could tell obstacles used to be. Yeah. No. yeah. There used Someone to be stuff there and now there's just rocks. And rocks. if that, like <laughs> yeah. some of them are just straight. And then you go to the kids section and the kids section was awesome, incredible, oh. but was filled with all these really scary looking like, we have a photo. We have a photo right here. Right here of um, I think I have a photo of Garfield. If I don't have a photo of Garfield, <laughs> I definitely have a photo of Pinocchio, <laughs> uh, and maybe a photo of the whale. All of these things that I'm describing. Get familiar. You'll be seeing them in your nightmares soon. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's they were, they were weird looking things. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty dodgy, and we loved every second of it. It was yeah, great. It was, awesome. it was really really good. And, wow. and what we did was um, throughout the trip, we uh, had t-shirts uh, as a part of going away together. Mm. And because merch is always excellent, and so we had we had these fun t shirts. And I was going to wear mine. Are you wearing yours? I'm not wearing mine. I, I was, was going to wear green mine shirt. too. Oh. No, oh well, mistakes were made. Yeah, you'll see them around. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Oh, and we, the the what we were then doing is we were trying to earn the merch uh, through different challenges and different things. Oh, so you uh, give it out to them? Yeah, we'd yeah. give them once they. Once they get it. And the first one was who can win putt-putt. And then it was like who came fourth in putt-putt. And then it was... Yeah, we, we, we set up a challenge so you couldn't reek where you were. So it was who came first. Obviously, the best putt, putt player deserves a shirt. Then there was who got the most hole-in-ones, mm -hmm. which was also a very fun um, challenge. But then there was who came fourth. <laughs> so, like, you didn't so, uh, really know where you were in the scorecard, but you were trying to come somewhere in the middle <laughs> if you weren't... If you knew... Which... it. Became fair pretty quickly that Rob or Jake were going to win. Yeah. And yep. so everyone else was kind of in this weird battle of trying to not come last. Be mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's which fun. was epic. It was very cool. Uh, Jake won. Rob got the most hole in ones. Yep. And I came fourth. Hey, yeah. so you got your shirt. I got my shirt straight away. Yeah. Yep. Didn't yeah. have to punch. And didn't have to do any of the things that Other we, people had we to will do. then tell stories about. Um, 
but yeah, so that was that was, and then we went to from there to our place, yeah, uh, which was a beautiful lakefront um, at oh. Gorakin, and the lake oh, was lovely. like maybe as deep as my knees, <laughs> um, and you only got that's, deeper. That's a long way. Well, you only, <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, well, actually, that's a good point. <laughs> it was not way it, less deep. It was way that. less deep than that. But you, you only got up to my knees when you stepped in it. And you would sink into the sand. Oh, really? It was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty gross, but it was awesome. Um, uh, so yeah, then we from there we were like there was a whole bunch of beautiful swans, uh, and there was a pool table, yeah. and there was a challenge to touch a swan, which turns out to be a lot harder than it looks. No, no one got anywhere. No one near. got anywhere near a swan. I spent maybe. 40 minutes on the water, kind of like trying to float towards some swans and they just were slowly moving away from me at the same <laughs> distance. <laughs> like I never got closer, but I got so much further away from where I started. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that was really good. But um, yeah, it was a really, really lovely spot. We had, um, we all shared the same house, but the boys were upstairs and the girls were downstairs in there. They had a little, they had a little room, which was cool. Um, we had a designated Daniel bathroom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And yeah, it was a really, it was a really great spot. Yeah, yeah, it was a sick spot. Nice. And there's just something really fun about going away with a bunch of people and mm. having a, a like home base and yep. running around doing silly things from there. But um, yeah, it was a really nice spot. And uh, you and Beck picked and found a good spot. It was really good. Mm. Nice work. Yeah. So what's like a usual day at schoolies once you get there? Just hang out. Well, I think it depends on different schoolies, but. Yeah, for this one, um, we like to start the morning with a study, mm -hmm. which is really lovely to That's kind of cool. ground the day um, in God's word, but also in like kind of the themes that we're looking at across the week. It's a really cool, kind of like week away, we have that cool opportunity to um, stick on a topic and keep diving mm -hmm. back into that mm -hmm. um, in a couple of different ways over the course of a week, mm -hmm. which I always found really uh yeah, it's just like really rewarding, isn't it? Like, do you, how do you, you feel the same way about week away where it's it's great oh, to have a deep dive on a topic? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. it's it's like, it's you start uh, figuring out the depth of God's word there rather than just like, oh, I just read a chapter today kind of yeah. thing. Mm. I yeah. think that's what's really helpful. About it. And you're all doing it at the same time. I think that's what makes a big difference. Mm. And so we, all, we also have time after as a quiet time Yeah. every time. And yeah. I really, I think that really helps. What did you? What was your topic for school? Our topic for this year was set apart. So um, focusing on, um, yeah, what does it look like to be um, set apart as a Christian, set apart as a child of God? And what does it look to, like to live like that? Why is that? Um, how does that make us different to um, the people around us who maybe aren't um, Christians? And why it's important to embrace that? And, um, yeah, approach life maybe in a different way, which is, I think, a really good topic to look mm. at on a schoolies trip. where Because you're, you're doing that. Well, yeah, you're thinking through, like, okay, well, like, the next step of your um, life, like, you've kind of mm. maybe hopefully by now look, figured out what it's like to be a Christian at high school. Um, but next up, you're going to have to figure out what it's like to be a Christian at work, a Christian at uni, a Christian at TAFE, or, and you're also going to have to figure out what it looks like to be an adult at church. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big shift in identity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I thought that was a really, really cool topic that we um, that we got to cover over the course of a week. Are you looking up the verse? Yeah, I was just trying to find the, the verse that kind of we put over the whole thing mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and we've chucked on the shirts, uh, yeah. but that it came from... Um, Deuteronomy 14, hmm. uh, which says, uh, verse 2, which says, For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. Out of all the peoples on the face of the earth, the Lord has chosen you to be his treasured possession. Hmm. And so, yeah. yeah, that idea of being set apart and holy and, and, and different uh, from the people around us, but also uh, being God's, tr th that being because we are God's treasured possession and that being because we are loved. Hmm. Uh, and so when we're talking about all these reasons Christians are different and how to be a Christian in all these different things as as Brain was saying it, it is underpinned by the fact that uh, we are loved by God and that is the biggest coolest thing that sets us apart yeah so like in Deuteronomy it's Moses giving a sermon right before mm. um, they're about to go into the promised land and one of the big distinctives for 
Israel as a nation is that they're meant to be witnesses to the countries around them. Mm. Um, obviously, our relationship as Christians has changed under the new covenant and there's um, some um, distinctives there, but I think it's a really cool comparison that you can bring across from the Old Testament, um, thinking about how to be a witness to the nations around us um, to glorify God, which is something that we are called to do in the New Testament as well over and over again to um, live in a way that um, points people, the people around us to God. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, it was a cool thread to get to draw across um, multiple studies and things to think about. Um, Yeah, I thought it was a really good topic to look at for a week. That's something we've been talking about on the Shock Absorber as well, is like uh, creating Christian cultural goods. Mm -hmm. And you can only do that if you're not just a Christian on the weekend, like when you go to church, you're a Christian throughout all of your life. And I was even thinking that we've been studying 1 Samuel recently and how so much of that, or a lot of that is like, we want to be like the other nations. Israel wanted to be like the other nations. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And instead, but contrast that with what Moses is saying in Deuteronomy, saying you don't need to be like the other nations because the Israelites all wanted, they wanted their own king. To, so they would be like the other nations. God's like, you don't need another king. <laughs> and they're like, yes, we need a king to be like everyone else. Yeah. So it's a good, uh, a good thing to keep thinking about, especially as you were saying, like such a it's such a big shift of identity. And I've realised that in the last few weeks, as, as we've had uh, Macy and and the Darville boys mm. on, of an, oh yeah, like when you finish school, when you reflect on it, when you finish school, oh, so much changes. Yeah, yeah. so much changes. Like you're so used to just going to school five days a week basically the same time as being with your friends and now you're like everyone just disperses from this place Mm, that you've been going to for for six years in high school isn't it yeah Yeah. so then you've got yeah it's a it's an i mean i think i went through a bit of a fair bit of a shift like that too i as soon as i finished school or the year after i finished school i started um working full time Mm. at a an audi car dealer not the (laughs) <laughs> not the uh, supermarket <clears throat> um, but it, there was a big shift and I think there was that was a time where I was I wasn't uh, going to uh, yeah the equivalent of late night which was a guy which was Solis as much I wasn't I was doing other stuff and I was like trying to understand like all my school friends and not wanting to go to this like, there was a big shift in that so I can understand and I think like I didn't go on a schoolies with church and I wish I did for example, what's the enduring memory of this year's schoolies? Do you think oh, you probably got one each? One. Yeah, oh, mom, you were going to have to. <laughs> yeah, I think every every challenge was hilarious. Yeah, like uh, so, what were the challenges? So like, to get the shirts, yeah, yeah, to get the shirts. to get the shirts. One of them, and we had two different shirts, so people had yeah. mm. um, two opportunities to complete um, a, win a shirt, yeah. and then after people had gotten one shirt. <laughs> A few of the people who were really keen on doing challenges started earning shirts for other people. Which was oh, awesome. once everyone had one, they could you could help earn a second one. Oh, for that's other cool. people. Like so that. people, the people who the person the per- I was gonna say I don't think anyone the else. person who was most keen on doing a bunch of challenges. Sure, ended you can up name earning, them. But, yeah, Daniel. Yeah, I was, Daniel. Daniel. Oh, I was gonna say that's that was. My I was gonna first. make you guess, but yeah, yeah, yeah Daniel. That was my first um, guess. Daniel was keen on earning a few more yep. later on, which is hilarious. He, he earned the his the hard way. <laughs> he did, he did. So he, uh, at Woolies, when we did our first shop, just to kind of get everything. On the first day. On the first day, we gave everyone a challenge. And that challenge was uh, find the item with the latest expiry date. So so, one, so as far in the future as yeah, possible. As far in the future as possible. And then you have to consume 80% of that product. And well, that's how you get the shirt. Yeah. So you can't like do, straight away? No, no, no. Well, when we get back. When we get back. So yeah. it meant that like you couldn't just be like, well, I'll just buy salt. <laughs> yeah. But Which no, is- well, you have to eat 80% of whatever oh, item you I pick. See. So you, we Googled how much salt. Yeah, you yeah. Some people you found salt. Die. <laughs> you die. You die really quickly, actually. It's, yes. it's, it dehydrates you, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think it's it's there's there's a percentage of salt to body f- to, to, to weight that you could have oh, as a okay. human. <laughs> and it's like one gram per kilogram of you. Yeah. And these girls came over with a with a forty kilo uh, no, hundred and hundred and forty gram thing of salt and they were like, This expires in like twenty thirty or something silly like that. And um <laughs> and we were like Oh, let's Google it. And they couldn't even have half of it. Like it was, 
just yeah. absurd. There, there was a couple of things vetoed. So that was vetoed, and then the vanilla essence, which is thirty percent alcohol, <laughs> and about that big. <laughs> it's like yes, sorry yeah, guys, probably not, no, probably not a great. No, I'm guessing that's essence. only alcoholic because it's fermented. Yeah, yeah, probably. So. I yeah. Don't know. Either way, it would it was yeah. it, would. it would burn on the way down, and it would do bad things on the way when it was in too. So yeah. wow. we vetoed those two. Yes. Um, the things I'd like to see what people, if people want to suggest in the comments, what they think might have lasted longer than these. But the, the things that kept coming up were maple syrup, like a couple of different versions of maple syrup, mm. um, tinned peaches, tinned peaches, tinned, oh. like a bunch of tinned stuff. Tinned spaghetti was getting pretty yep. out there. The, one well. of the interesting things about it, the tin stuff is that we were looking at it and they didn't have expiry dates on yeah. them. And so we vetoed that because if it doesn't have an expiry date, that's cheating. Yeah, it's got to have it. It had to have, have a date. date. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. you got to be able to. Compete, what about right? water? Did anyone get water? Because I know mm. water has a really long expiry date on it. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, no one, no one came up with no water. Should have come on schoolies, man. We spent ages. Well, the, like, the, we, they were in there. We were in there so running around yeah, for a Beck, while. Beck oh. was doing the the like proper full grocery <laughs> shop with, and I was helping. And by helping, I mean I was carrying a trolley around behind her. <laughs> um, but that's help. Um, yeah, while like, we were in there for maybe an hour yeah, and yeah, they we were, there were looking ages. the whole time, swapping things out, like trying to find not only the item, but finding the version of that item that had the longest expiry date. Yeah. So like once like they found the one, shelves. once they found one that like the maple syrup that, that had quite a long expiry date, it was like, okay, well the sugar-free maple syrup has a longer expiry date oh, and God. which bottle of sugar-free maple syrup has the longest expiry date. And like, oh, well, this tin of spaghetti has a long expiry date. Which yeah. tin on the shelf has the longest date away? So, yeah, yeah it was quite. Yeah. So the, the, the two the two finalists were yeah. Daniel and Zach. Zach, they both found something of the same date. Oh. Yeah. And they were different items. The same month, same year. And Zach found just glucose, just like pure <laughs> glucose. And <laughs> Daniel found, we're talking about maple syrup, he, he found... Uh, a thing of maple sugar flav free, sugar fl free, free maple, maple flavored flavor. syrup. So it's not actually syrup. Yeah, so it's got tons of preservatives in it. Oh, it's oh. horrific. <laughs> um, so you look at those two things, and Daniel's pretty sure that he can finish the maple syrup faster Sh than Zach can do the, the yeah. glucose. Yeah. And when you're down to this tiebreaker, it is at speed. Yeah. Um, right. Is Who can actually do it? Like granules thick. of stuff, or is it thick? No, it's like a thick. Like jelly thing. Oh yeah, they have a heaps yeah, hard. He's hard, and but that's just pure. Anyway, so at the very last minute, Zach knows this and pulls out, which means that Daniel is the only one in the competition at all. Yeah. So he could have just bought a chocolate bar, but he didn't <laughs> know that Zach had pulled out. Oh. Uh, and so we get back to the house, and we're like, "Oh, so who's got anything?" And Daniel's like, "Me and no one else." And Daniel's like, "Oh, okay." And he smashes like he skulls. Maybe this. thirty seconds. He it, skulled the entire sugar-free maple syrup. And then spent way longer than thirty seconds on the toilet. Yeah. If anyone know, <laughs> if anyone knows anything about sugar-free products, maybe. Google sugar-free gummy bears yep. and realize that often they are massive diuretics. Yep. So mad like laxatives. Mad, mad laxatives. laxatives. Yeah. So that he got ruined. wrecked. Absolutely ruined. Is this why he had his own bathroom? That, yes. This is exactly why. Uh, a little bit of, that was a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> the, oh whoever's weaving the, the, the <laughs> threads, the threads. <laughs> Yeah, so Did Beck get enough toilet paper? No, oh, <laughs> yeah. We bought more the we, next day. We, bought, we also had to buy air freshener. <laughs> yeah, we had to buy air freshener and toilet paper. And matches. Day. Yeah, oh, hopefully. Yeah. It was not okay. So, yeah, Daniel won his, first, won his first shirt with that. Yeah. And then Zach actually won a, a shirt by guessing the exact number of the price of the groceries we bought. <laughs> so yeah. He was off by, what, like $2? Yeah, he guessed within wow. $2. That's which pretty was cool. pretty impressive. Mm. Really, yeah, some of the guesses were way off. You could tell some of them don't buy groceries. Yeah. Well, some of the leaders aren't the, <laughs> aren't the people in their house that buy groceries. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Zach got a way easier shirt as yeah. well, which was fun. Yeah. Nice. Um, which really just rubs salt in the wound, really. Like, actually, I think funny. the highlight for a lot of people, and it might be my highlight too, was actually Macy's challenge that happened at the same time at the grocery store. <gasps> and as you were the one who... Um, came up with this challenge, Ethan. I would yeah. like you to retell it. Okay, so I, I, I had this thought like a week out. I was like, oh, it'd be really funny to get Hudson or Daniel to go up to the the lady at the counter and say, hey, I've, I'm, I've lost my brother. 
<laughs> could you could you could I call out and get my brother to come because uh, he's missing? Anyway, uh, Daniel had already got this challenge with the with the maple syrup, and Hudson chickened out and didn't want to do it. Um, and so I'm like, oh, who else are brothers here? And so I turned to Zach, and I'm like, Zach, do you want to do it? And before Zach can reply, Macy goes, I'll do it. And we're like, well, who's your brother? <laughs> and she goes, Rob could be my brother. <laughs> And so she goes up this this lovely, pale, like strawberry strawberry blonde woman <laughs> goes like goes up to the counter and says, "Hi, I'm looking for my brother. Could you please like do an announcement?" And so this announcement comes on the thing. Uh, Rob, uh, your sister is looking for you. <laughs> and out of that from around the corner, Rob, this little Filipino boy, like a <laughs> boy. <laughs> 22 year old Filipino man with with a (laughs) moustache comes rambling around the corner and and then Macy just yells oh it's so good we found you where have you been and they like run towards each other and instead like in the movies but instead of a hug they just like stop and fist bump (laughs) (laughs) meanwhile we're like crying with laughter and like maybe two minutes later we're just we're laughing and chatting and the same lady comes around the corner and goes rob don't you don't you walk away again like (laughs) (laughs) it was really good it was really good so yeah, Macy, Macy earned a yep. shirt, earned a shirt, a shirt, and a memory, and a memory. Yeah, <laughs> that was really wow. funny. Yeah, and that was all the first day. Yep. Wow. Well, yeah, we haven't told a story from any other day. So we still got <laughs> we still got more to go, have we? Well, just like yeah, it's fun how um, yeah, it's cool how quickly you can kind of get a group vibe and mm. just make something like doing the shopping. <laughs> Um, all of a sudden doing the shopping was very, very fun really and interesting fun. and a highlight yeah. of that's the good. first day. Oh, that's good. Yeah, which is really lovely. Um, yeah, so, yeah, excellent. Yeah. and But yeah, every day was had, had different things. We had we had more chill days. We just went to the beach and hung out and played video games and whatever. Um, and oh, what's the video days. game of choice? Uh, we played Boomerang Foo and a game called Heave Ho. Heave Ho was excellent. Heave Ho was very, very good. <laughs> um, you, the whole point is you just, you just got control over your hands and your arms and that's it and so you've got to like swing from one side of the, the game to the other side of the screen and you got to help each other get along or you play the versus mode we have to race and both were excellent and very fun this is on the switch yeah yeah yep. yep. and so we played that for ages and ages and ages <laughs> um what's boomerang foo though boomerang foo, foo is oh, is also excellent it's a it's a top-down game where you're running around as a little Oh yeah, characters, and you have boomerangs, and you throw the boomerangs at each other, and if you and, and you're killing each other with the boomerangs, and but you're very very cute. You're adorable, characters. adorable little characters. Oh, so yeah. like a little sushi and I'd, a little coffee I'd cup and a little yeah. yeah, it's really a little sushi. Yeah, yeah. A little sushi. sushi, coffee cup, banana, yeah, donut. Yep, <laughs> you're all these really cute little characters. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's a really lovely design, yeah. and yeah, they're like throwing boomerangs at each other, and that's the whole game. And and you like as as the it's game like progresses, Royale. yeah, yeah like, trying to be the last one. Yeah, and as the game progresses, your boomerangs get upgrades, and oh. so everyone just it just gets more and more intense. Another uh, good multiplayer silly. game. Yeah, I think it's very good yeah, multiplayer. They were both game. yeah, both awesome party games. Party games. Mm. Yeah, mm. so that kind of vibe of just like everyone's hanging out together, mm. and yep. so we're doing that playing pool. Uh, mm. We a lot of pool played playing. a bit of like a like a board game. Um, Watch some movies. Yeah, it was it was really lovely. We um and then and then there was other times where we like we went ice skating, which was really cool. And what else did we do? We went we, to an arcade. Yeah, we went to an arcade. We, we went got, rock climbing. We got the pig. Yeah, we got yes, yes, we got chased the the pig, the elephant. Yeah. So we won. We we put a pulled pulled all of our arcade wins together, and I oh, like your tickets. Yeah. Yes. And Daniel wanted a pig. From the thing, and so we it's got like a yeah soft toy pig. It was a pretty like probably bigger than my head. Like it was a big soft toy pig, yeah. And bigger than your head, yeah. Well, my head's not very big, but like for it was no, it's a, just it a funny a, way to describe. It was, it. But yeah, just like a, a well, I needed anyway a decent size a decent plush size plush toy. Mm. And we get it, and we realize that it's not a pig after getting it. It's an elephant with a weird face. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so we've already named it Chase the Pig, and so it's become Chase the Pig the Elephant. And he was he was a bit of a mascot for the rest yeah. of the trip, as nice. as well as uh, Stephen, yes, uh, who Stephen. was uh, 
a Doctor, a Doctor Strange plushie that looked really strange. Yeah. Um, so we won that too. We won that and too. And that has entered onto the schoolie shelf. Yep. If you haven't ever noticed, um, I'm sure lots of people haven't, mm. but some people probably have as well. Um, there's actually a little shelf in the, um, the factory. factory at Kirui, just on the right as you enter through the wooden doors up the top, that oh. has just somehow ended up as the place where we put – we. I don't even know when the tradition was a Fox's school. Yeah, so started. Fox so that would have been twenty. I don't even know twenty nineteen maybe. Maybe yeah. Fox bought a. Um, we we went op shopping that year, and Fox bought this. It's the year with the fires. Really yeah. awful. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Oh no no no. no twenty nineteen. Sorry. Because it's twenty nineteen and then COVID yeah. was the next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, could it get any worse? Yeah, it was twenty nineteen. <laughs> the anyway, he bought this awful monkey painting. Yeah. that has been up there ever since. Yeah. Uh, and that was his thing was, I'm buying, this, yeah, I'm buying this. Yeah, I'm buying this and I'm putting it up at church. Yeah. And we were like, okay. So we chucked it up on that shelf. And and every year since, there has been something added. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Aurelia's year added dog, which is, which the, is the gorilla, the gorilla that's, up there, that's up there. Which, which <laughs> Marlo has quite a fun relationship with. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's just awesome. Doesn't like it, but also wants to <laughs> wants it. That's great. Um, there's, yeah, what the, what else is up there? There's a re- there's recorders from last year. Yep. Um, uh, there's, yeah. There's, there's some paintings from yeah, one of the years. Yeah, there's some paintings from, yeah, one of the years. Um, there's heaps of stuff up there. There's heaps of stuff up there. There's a qual. Yeah, there's a qual. There's, and now there is Stephen. Stephen. Yeah. Stephen's up there. there. What was Stephen again? Stephen was what we, we, bought, we got Chase and Stephen at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And Stephen but was Doctor Strange. Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. Stephen Strange. Stephen Strange. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's. Um, Affectionately called Stephen. I mean, it sounds like you had a really good time. So that's mm. what's really cool about it. What about your own experiences of schoolies? Who wants to go first on that one? Uh, as. The only person sitting on this lounge that actually went on a church school is Ethan Howe's school. <laughs> it's good. My church school is was uh, similar to many of my other youth group stories, <laughs> which uh, involve me and a lot of non-Christians. Yeah. Um, by then there was a few more Christians, which was cool, mm. um, but it was not the same vibe culturally that we had on this school is, mm. for example, um, which was I, like heaps of fun. It was very, very, very fun. Uh, and I have very fond memories of that. And it was also uh, really excellently, um, not paralleled, but there was this interesting thing that happened where we came out of our schoolies and talked to our friends who came out of their schoolies and the stories were really dramatically different. And we both sounded like we had a really, really fun time. But personally, my schoolies, we remembered a lot more. Um, and a lot more of it was laughs and hangouts. And the other one was actually not heaps of that. There was a lot of, oh, ha, ha. It was like he got embarrassed or ha, ha. He got like, that was a lot of where the laughs were, um, which was actually a beautiful, like it was a sad reality, but it was a really beautiful uh, testament to the way our schoolies was run and and, and what schoolies is built for yeah. um, in a really, from a, from a survival perspective. Um because, yeah, it was it was actually a really wholesome time other than the times that weren't wholesome because you got a whole bunch of people in a small space and so there was a little bit of frustration at, at like, two points. But other than that, it was glorious. We, we did so many dumb things. Uh, at one point, we had... Um, one, of my, one of my strongest memories is that every single one of the leaders got angry once during the week, uh, including Haley Spring, who, <laughs> those of you who know... Um, she is hard to get angry, I think, um, in, unless, I don't know. Um, I've never seen her angry except for this moment. And I've known her for a while now. And so we are, we have two houses at this point. So the girls are in one house and the guys are in one house. And um, the guys were blasting music so loud <laughs> that the girls across the road could hear it. And so Haley gets like, gets all like, cross and like comes across the road and stomps her way across. like this she'll tell the story in the same way like she's very very angry and really like building up the like i'm gonna be really frustrated with them and da, da, da. and she stops up the stairs and one of the guys james is in a morph suit on a table <laughs> dancing <laughs> and Haley's face goes from one of pure rage <laughs> to just like breaking <laughs> with laughter <laughs> And, and I don't know, that was just kind of, I mean, I like that story because it's just kind of the vibe. We're just like hanging out and being so stupid. And there are things we say today 
that we started saying on schoolies because of yeah that's um, what's cool about because it. of stuff like that so yeah it was it was really lovely and yours was the first schoolies we ran as a church it was yes yeah so, yeah so jared and Haley ran ours which was really really cool um and we had some really lovely excellent leaders with us as well um one of the weird things that happened on our schoolies was because of the date uh it was a little bit later uh our atars came out on schoolies Ooh. which i'm we're never doing again and we haven't done again which is Why? very good it's comparison no it was just like it was That's just a, a vibe sad, killer. There was, a, there was a sad day. Let's just say we had we had we had a really solid time, and there was one day that was just this kind of down lull, where a few people were like, "Yeah, cool, whatever," and then a few people were like, <sighs> "That's not what I wanted." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, it was really good. It was a great, it was a good experience. We had lots of fun, and um, and it was a really beautiful time to sit in the Bible uh, in, with all these non Christians every week who, uh, as of yet, hadn't been going to Bible studies really or at all. Uh, it had just been. Um, and from there, we were able to be like, hey, come to Bible study. And they, a bunch of them started going to Bible studies. And to be honest, that's part of the reason um, some of them are Christians today, which is really, yeah. really beautiful. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, yeah. Mm. Go on, Braden. Uh, yeah, I think my schoolies experience is a mixed one. Um, obviously, I so I wasn't at a church at that point. I didn't have a church. Um I'd stopped going to Gaimir because of things that happened there and um, Soul Revival hadn't planted yet. So there was no church, schoolies that was even really an option. Um, so, yeah, I just, me and um, a bunch of my friends actually did something that I was reflecting with fish was actually turned out to be really lovely, which we, um, one of our friends had a holiday house. Um, his grandparents, sorry, had a holiday house and we just went there and there was so many of us. There was like somewhere between... Some people left and came back. There was like twenty of us in a house. Oh wow! And it was at uh, it was at Lake Conjola. But the positive thing that I was telling Fish about, which I think um, was the thing that kind of made it set it apart from maybe what schoolies would have been like if we were on the Gold Coast or whatever, is the fact that we were in a holiday house on a street full of holiday houses. So there wasn't many neighbours and stuff to annoy, which was a positive because we were quite loud and doing things to all hours of the night. But also there was no one else around. <laughs> like, so it didn't mean that people were, people weren't like getting drunk and running off with new people or trying to sleep with people from other groups or whatever. Like it was just our group of friends who had gone to school for the last six years, which meant that um, the positive was that it was actually a celebration of us being friends for a long time, which, which really was cool. really nice. Really nice. Um, but also it was not a, it was not Christian anyway. People were drinking and doing things and, a bunch of other things. So it was a really nice celebration of my, of my friendship group. But yeah, when we start talking about schoolies, I get a bit sad because I think one of the big things about um, us, our culture as a, as a long-term relational thing was that, um, yeah, I kind of finished youth and didn't really have the option of even having that celebration mm. of finishing just kind of because of um, Soul Revival leaving Gaimir and a whole bunch of stuff there just kind of fizzled out for me. Mm. And yeah, so it wasn't really an option to do anything to do with church, which yeah. was a bummer. Yep. Um, but I got to celebrate and have fun with um, some people I really love um, from school, which was really fun. And we did it again the year after. <laughs> what did you? Because <laughs> we all still had fun and loved each other, which was nice. Um, but yeah, mixed feelings about it. Because yeah, you want, um, especially with the long-term friendships that you make with your leaders and stuff, it would have been really nice to um, finish that off yeah. properly yeah. but or not properly finish it off in a way that yeah. um could reflect the great relationships that we built over that time um but yeah just wasn't an option at that point so it's a bummer but it's just where we were and saw a rival hadn't planted yet so i was just kind of floating around um but i had just met back so oh very nice I'd, um this year is actually 10 years since i finished school <laughs> and so yeah about a month ago was 10 years since i started dating back Cute. There's, there's conflicting memories about that time in my life. I see. It's sad when I think about church, but good and God bless me in lots of other areas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Another reason to get back on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ethan, where was your schoolies, by the way? We went to the Gold Coast. Oh, you went to the Gold Coast, which was really cool. Okay. We were we were not at we were under the Gold Coast. Uh, Rainbow Bay? Were you? No, we weren't oh. Rainbow Bay. That so was like under after? the that ground. Was the um, yeah, underground. No, we were just <laughs> a few suburbs down. From, yeah. Okay. Um, from the bit that's the main 
Yes, yeah. Um, the bit that was the main bit. Yeah, the bit that's the main bit. We were around the corner from Rainbow Bay, like it was that kind of mm. that kind of spot, and it was yeah, it was lovely. It was very cool. We, we did the we did the worlds. Um, we did movie world. We didn't do the other worlds. We did movie world, and um, so you did one of the worlds. Well, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we did movie world. <laughs> um, I don't know. I couldn't. I was trying to remember if we did all the others, but I can only remember the movie world because we we went because we were really excited to go on the Scooby Doo ride. We like really hyped ourselves up <laughs> to go, on, and then it was closed. <laughs> and so we have this really iconic photo of all of us like being sad, sad in front of the in front of the Scooby Doo ride. ride. But yeah, that's very good. We're Sorry all dressed up like idiots. <laughs> and movie world it was awesome. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I didn't say thanks for sharing that, Braden. No, I'm sorry. It was, uh, sounds like it was a bit of a tough time for you. The uh, I reckon I've probably got the least enjoyable schoolies out of all three because <laughs> <laughs> I went with my school friend. You can earn a shirt for that. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah, no, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I went with my school friends, and uh, wasn't wasn't that in, I have I don't think I have any good memories about it. Yeah. I think we've had reflections from you and Greaves on that schoolies. Yeah. Well, I think we're really disappointed we didn't go on the church schoolies. Because yeah. there was a time, like, for me, Greaves, Karen and um, Heather, who's she still goes to go in my Anglican church. Um, uh, our friend, we kept going to Solis, which is the year 11, 12 and up group at Gaimere. Mm. And our friends were going to parties and giving us a hard time for going to Solis and stuff like that. So we went... I think it was, we're like, I think, I, I mean, I can only speak for myself, but I was like, oh, we just don't, you know, it was kind of like, oh, it is all my friends from school. I don't know what the church school is, is going to be like. Yeah. Mm. And all my other friends from school are going on that school is, which yeah. is in the Gold Coast, by yeah. the way. So I think that was part of it. But but the funny thing was that the church school is was on at the same time. So we actually met up. They made, They came in like, picked us up mm. in whatever minivan they had and took them, took us to wherever they were going. So we spent kind of hang, hung out for the night there and went back. But yeah, I'm in the middle of it too. I was remember because I was thinking about we we're going to talk about schoolies today. In the middle of it, I actually flew back to Sydney. Did you? To do some interview thing for a uni thing. I can't even remember what it was. Um, That's random. Yeah. And then flew back up. Oh, we had, we had this yeah. year Rob drove home from Newcastle or wherever we were from from the Central Coast and so two hours? Yeah. Two hours to do an, to to do an exam. To his final to exam. To final exam. For building. That he had to get oh. 100% on. Oh, really? Yeah. And then he drove back. Yeah. Like he came back and hung out with us. So that was like in the middle of the week. He just like drove home and yeah. come, came back. Well, it's yeah. probably similar. He's an admin. Yeah, similar yeah. as me. But like... That's really funny that he did that. Yeah, oh, he's that's actually good. He's that a he legend. Did it. It's yeah, very yeah cool. he came back, and then the next day was Macy's 18th birthday and Rob's 22nd birthday. Yep. Was oh, on, how lovely. On, on Brothers the, and the sisters. The last day. Bro- yeah, the brother and sisters. <laughs> Twins, actually. Twins. <laughs> Twins of a different age. Yeah. It's four years apart. Like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> 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 um, so, there, yeah, my school is like, I. I didn't even drink at that time. I was like, a, someone had like some Smirnoff vodka mixer drink and I had some of it and then I went to the bathroom to down the sink. I remember doing that. <laughs> I was like, that was it. Like I didn't really, really drink anything. And it was just the only, th- the, one of the enduring memories is that you'd have breakfast at lunchtime, lunch at dinner time, and then dinner at like 11 o'clock at night. Nice. Yeah. But that that's the really only memory I have. And oh, the other one is, I suppose, like lying on the, lying on the beach. That was about it. Uh, there's there's no real great enduring memories of you know having a great time so mm-hmm. i'm sure Greece will correct me in the comments if i've misrepresented anything but uh, yeah we were like right in the middle of the gold coast mm-hmm. like in an apartment yeah in apartments and yeah. Yeah. yeah i think that was what i appreciated about like what i was saying with mine is that we were kind of isolated so it was kind of our friendship group and it meant that we were actually hanging out with each other yeah doing that, stuff my enduring memory is um, getting four decks of Uno cards and shuffling them all together and just playing games of Uno with like 20 people all sitting around the same table. <laughs> That'd be pretty and funny. We would, and we play that you could stack on stack, like you could stack twos on fours or fours on twos. So all of a sudden people would be getting like, pick up 32 cards <laughs> and stuff like that. And, and that was very fun because we literally we were in a house that only had a VCR player. So we were watching, if we wanted to watch anything, 
we'd have to watch VCR. And this was in 2013. <laughs> so we were, no we were just like pulling out whatever VCRs they had and things. So I think, I think we watched the Bionicles movie. We yes. watched the second Pokemon movie. Yes. We watched a whole bunch of wild stuff that was just like, because they only had like kids VCRs. That's awesome. You just starting to get like the lines across oh, the screen so and stuff good. like that. It was so good. But yeah, yeah. the good memories and yeah. Mm. But also, yeah, it, it would have been nice to um, yeah do something with church, but yeah. Mm. On, on my school list, we watched the episode three of Star Wars. Yes. Um, which I've never been more communally angry at a team before. <laughs> it was like every so often something would happen in the, in the movie. Like, for example, uh, the, it's so CGI'd and so green screened, <laughs> but they don't, there's no shadows. Like if you watch the movie, none of the characters have shadows <laughs> in, in a lot of scenes. Oh, right. And so you'd like... And there was there was a game that we were almost playing where we would yell at the screen where are the shadows whenever there were no shadows <laughs> in, a, in a scene, and um, so that was something like that. there was a lot of that kind of vibe. And then we watched the ending episode of every anime on Netflix at the time, uh, not like so we had no context. And if you've watched any anime before ever, you'd realize that the last episode is usually just this schmorkers board of like <laughs> insanity. Oh really? With with just. Yeah, yeah, it's like they can tell I don't watch anime. Absolutely mental. Yeah, uh, and there was one episode where it was it was this all girl superhero team that were <laughs> <laughs> like a group of schoolgirls that like in their dreams were superheroes, but we didn't get any of that context until the end. Instead, we just got these girls like fighting the sun. <laughs> <laughs> fighting the sun. That's <laughs> <laughs> like what is going on? So was, you, yeah, are you just like, so you just on. watching it from five minutes from the end? No, no, no. We watched the whole 30 minute episode that was the last, or well, 20 minute episode. Oh, just, oh, so like it's a series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just so watch the last like a, episode. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like okay. a 20, it'd be like a 20 episode season. And we'd watch the last episode. The last episode. And it was always very entertaining. Um, so, yeah, we, wow. that was at 1 a.m., like when, when it's heaps funnier. Mm. Thinking about, to wrap up the episode, thinking about schoolies, you guys going on schoolies as, leaders now mm -hmm. and then taking your experience of your own schoolies into account what would you say to people and you might have even said this um on schoolies this year what would you say to people like macy and bethany and the darvell boys and zach or anyone else that's finishing year 12 and as a christian like because so many things are changing what's the like what's the kind of biblical wisdom you would impart on them I think um, one of the things that does not change is God. Um, and one of the things, that, uh, sorry, I, 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 what I do each time is we talk about the stuff that doesn't change. So, mm. for example, like at Solis, we're going to be here. We're not going anywhere. Mm. Uh, is one of the things we say often. Uh, we're going to talk about the fact that as a Christian, that that doesn't change. Like you're... you're um, uh, your walk with God may look different and, and stuff happens, but God stays the same in all of this. And it is a beautiful, important thing to remember that you're that like those of us that were Christians in high school, were not just Christians in high school. Mm. You're Christians wherever you end up. Um, and uh, that's a really important thing and um, something that is, I don't know, there's a reason the statistics show that a whole bunch of Christians leave the church after high school. Yep. Like it's massive. Um, and because so many things are changing, so many things are changing and, and, and like that's from a life perspective. That's from a personality perspective. Like it's a friendship group perspective. Like everything changes. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the person I was at the end of year 12 and the person I was at the end of the next year were pretty different people. Mm. Like not, not massively, but like I grew a lot in that. And you're and that's seeing happens, something right? completely different to what you were doing for totally, 13 totally. years. Yeah, exactly. And and there's something really important about no matter what does change, putting God as a priority in your decisions is really important because like, so he's not going to change. And so in that knowledge, prioritize him um, in any way you can. And that's going to look different for everyone. But yeah, I think that's, that's something that I've thought about a lot. 
Yeah, I think um, so. Ethan and I both ran different studies over the days that we were away, yeah. and I had the pleasure of running a study on why Solis is different. So basically, I got to give a Berea 101 <laughs> in like half an hour, which was really, really fun. And it was fun because we also got to chat about um, different denominations and the way different um, things do, the way different churches do things. And it was in a way that is, well, like, none of this is bad. Mm. Like, There's lots mm. of different ways that people go about trying to serve the kingdom and yeah, this totally. is the way that we do it. Um, and I think the really cool thing, as Eth um, mentioned, was... Um, Part of our thing is long term. We're going to be here, um, yeah. And so that I guess, like, I have, um, I'm coming from the perspective where I was finishing year twelve and didn't have a church, mm. and was, um, yeah. And I that was really hard. It was really hard to live like that. It was really hard to uh, go through things with a big shift, um, and not have that. Um, stability The stability that comes from that um, I remember finishing year 12 and being I got really really sick after year 12 And I think it was um, Just like stress related But it wasn't even I wasn't even really stressed about I wanted to be finished school But I think I just didn't have much direction um, And I think that was because I didn't have a church And I didn't have I didn't know what I was going to do next in that regard um, So I think it's really cool that we can offer them now that we've been a church for a while and we kind of have things set up in a in a really good helpful way. It's really cool to get to offer consistency and mm. something that's really encouraging. But also the thing that I reflect on from that time and coming out of that is like you don't even like being at a church is really, really important, but your greatest stability isn't your church, it's God. Yep. And so mm. um yeah, there's something really, really comforting and awesome about getting to look at that because it's not even us that are offering comfort and stability it's not no the church it's not ethan and i it's not us as friends who've been there for a long time we will be for, there for any of them that yep. um want to that keep hanging around or even just want to hang out occasionally we're always going to be there but as much as we can um try our best and do that we're never going to be able to do what gods could be able to do through your life yeah. like if you build your life on that foundation you're going to be set no matter what happens. And I think that's really, really cool mm. to get to think about that. Yep. No, I think you guys have summed it up really well. I, I reckon I didn't, at that time, I don't think I was putting God as my number one priority because I was trying to do figure out what's all going on with friends and stuff like that. And that, like I said, I was going to Solis less because of that. Um, and I was lucky to have people continually following me up, including my leaders, and really making sure that... I was still okay and so I think that that's a kind of mixture of the two isn't it like I wasn't making God a priority but there was leaders there trying to make it stable and and, and a priority for me mm. so I think that's all a really good way to sum it up um thank you boys all good that was fun pleasure. yeah absolute pleasure very enjoyable I'd also like to quickly say oh, and yes. all the detailed stories that we gave we got up to the end of the first day yeah so <laughs> if any of you would like to I've run into Daniel, Hudson, Macy, Beth, mm. or Zach. Maybe ask them how school is went. And I'm idea. sure they will tell the stories that we've told and many, many more in a much more fun and engaging way. It's, it's really fun. cool that we got to be leaders on their on their schoolies. It was their schoolies, their trip away, and it was fun to get to concentrate on them. And yep. I'm sure if you ask them, they will have lots and lots of more interesting and fun stories that yep. we weren't even awake for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> very cool. <laughs> they, the boys, for. actually, Eli, um, Daniel, uh, Eli, Daniel, and Zach. And Zach pulled an all nighter on the last night. So I went to bed at, I don't know, one thirty or two, and woke up at six in the morning and walked down, and they were watching the sunrise. So <laughs> you could ask them yeah, what right. they did. Yeah, that's a very yeah. very good idea. Yeah, make sure you check out or check out talk to those people. <laughs> that yeah. might be a better yeah, way to say them. it. Ask them. Ask them yeah. how it went. Uh, thank you, Ethan. Pleasure. Thank you, Braden. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> that sounded like a teacher telling you to. Just, <laughs> thank you, yeah, Joel. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Thank McMaster. You, Mr. <laughs> McMaster. <laughs> uh, thank you to everyone that's listening and watching. You've been uh, checking out the Chip Lunch podcast, episode 108. 108. You we continue to make them. We continue to churn out. They keep happening. Churn out this content, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> anyway, we'll finish with a one way. One way. One way. One way.